Hello everyone, welcome back to the Bradley Real Estate Group. My name is Antonio, this is Jasmine. You guys obviously know us. Thank you so much for joining and watching this video today. We appreciate you guys' support. And we have some fantastic news for you as we're coming to the year end of 2023. Wow, it's been going very quick. Well, I think we say that every year that the, the year went by quick. Yeah, it's really right. Actually, it gets faster. Yeah. So okay. you gotta get faster. So now listen guys, what we're gonna be talking about today, if you're a buyer and you're on the fence about buying a home, this information is really going to help you make the right decision. Of course, if you have more questions, you can always reach out to Jasmine and I. We're happy to help you. So we're talking about the five reasons why it is still the best time for you to buy a house, even in the month of December or the winter months in the housing market, right? And number one reason is limited competition. Let's talk about the limited competition yeah. that's out there for the buyers. Absolutely. I'm more of the buyer's agent of the team. And we have, of course, Erica, who also works with buyers. She's awesome. And so what we find with the limited competition is that some of the buyers right now are on the fence because of the interest rate. So they don't really know how to navigate that. They get a little bit of sticker shock. They like they start comparing to when their parents bought a house or right. even back in the in the market before the interest rate interest rates rose. And so what I what we're telling you right now is that this is the best time to buy because now you can go look. You don't have to worry about the multiple offer situation. Yes. If the interest rates it's not predictable when they're gonna come down. You know, even though they have a we'll talk about the rates. we'll talk about that. Yeah. But uh, because of that, we want you to move forward now and consider moving forward now because you can always refinance and there's a lot of people on the fence. And with the limited competition, you have more options. Yes, so take advantage of that. So what's the second reason, Antonio? Second reason is tax benefits. Now, we're not tax preparers, so definitely make sure that you talk to your tax preparer to make sure that you get the right information from them. But you can deduct things towards this year in 2023, like your property taxes, right? Your mortgage interest rate, right? The amount that you have to pay for your loan, the down payment and all that good stuff up front for purchasing a home. So those could be an advantage to your taxes in the year of 2023. So if you do buy a house, do not forget to use that benefit of those expenses that I just talked about. Yeah, for sure. Some of the building costs and things like that. But of course, your tax preparer will better guide you at that. So listen to them. But we're just telling you that there is an opportunity there for it's a benefit yes. for buying home. Right. Absolutely. Number three, which I think is the best one, one in three, is motivated sellers. Motivated we have sellers. a lot of motivated sellers towards the end of the year. Can you explain yeah. to us why we see that? So guys, right now, with the buyers being on the fence, which is the limited competition, and not making them move fast enough, the buyers are, the sellers are used to having their houses go away in two weeks, 30 days, and now they're so sitting the on the market. The they were selling a lot yeah. faster. And right? they're sitting on the market a little bit longer. So because of that, when you have a seller, it's a little bit more motivated. They they might consider paying your closing costs, Bingo. paying for a home warranty, reducing the price a little bit more. Those are all Managed. the terms buyers love. Yes, all exactly. The terms. So these are some of the things that can help you to, as you buy now, during the winter, where the market's a little bit slower, it's a benefit to you because of those things. Yeah, it is kind of like the idea of people trying to get pools built in the wintertime, or people try to buy a motorcycle in the wintertime. Motorcycle, motorcycle in the winter time. Like when people don't, don't usually utilize those items. Buy your bathing suit in the winter time. Yeah, so you can get them at a lower price. Lower price. Same idea with real estate. What well, Antonio? What is the next reason? Oh, you get a realistic look at the home. So mm -hmm. some of those benefits to buying a home in the winter time is your home inspector also gets to check the AC and the heat, the furnace. So you make sure that the house is insulated properly and correctly. You also get to check the window seals to make sure that they're holding up right in the winter time of the month. And then lastly, landscaping, right? So I know sometimes you can buy a house and may have a tree in the springtime or the summertime and it looks beautiful, but then you go to see the house in the winter, the yard is full of pine needles or it's full of leaves. That may be something that you may not want to deal with. Well, all of that is revealed during the winter time. You get to see 
the true home. You get to see the dead patches of the grass. <laughs> the dead, yes. <laughs> or even if it has grass or not have grass. Yes, right. absolutely. That is a great reason, guys. And you get to see a little bit the house in a different light. Well, and lastly, the last reason why we think it's a great idea to buy in the winter month is... Interest rates. Ooh. Interest rates. We all want to talk about interest rates, right? It's It's been going all throughout the news, throughout social media, your friends, your families. And some people are being told, do not buy a house right now. But what we want you to do is exercise your knowledge, get the knowledge, and exercise wisdom, right? Make a smart decision. Now, the rates, so I have heard I'm not a lender, has gone down from seven. They're now into the sixes. So from what, eight, they have one up, they have one up to eight. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So what does that mean for you? If you buy now, you automatically are going to save money because the feds have not made up their mind whether or not they're going to increase the rates again or if they're going to lower the rates again. Advantage of that right now, I promise you, it is a great time yes. for you to buy. And then always have the thought process, guys, if that could give you some perspective. With the interest rates is a little higher or lower, yes, it will affect you. But if you bought a home more than six months ago, first of all, you need to be talking, reaching out to your lender and refinancing. If you don't have a lender, get get with us and we can recommend a great lender to you so that you can refinance right now while this small little window of the interest rate being a little bit lower. And make, you, make sure you ask them, is it going to be beneficial? Look course. at the full numbers yeah, yeah. to see how it will benefit you. If you don't like the numbers, then of course, just wait it out and see. But we want you guys to make a mm-hmm. smart decision. For me, it has to be at least 1% right. difference. So if you bought at that 8 and, and it's 6 right now, then you need to go talk to your lender right now. And, and also remember that you can always refinance later if it's a little bit higher. You can always refinance later. But if you need to buy a house and you are renting, at the end of the day, owning is better than renting. And then I know people have their things, but hey, I'm in the business and I'm an owner. So I I believe that fully. Yes, absolutely. So that pretty much wraps it up. Those are the five best reasons that you still haven't bought a home yet. Or if you're renting, like she said, Mm -hmm. definitely need to be jumping in the market, giving us a call, Mm -hmm. and getting qualified to buy your house before this year is out. So my top three was limited competition, and then you have the interest rates, and then you also have the board of sellers. So those are three great reasons to buy a house. Let's get it done, guys. Thank you so much for watching today. You have a blessed day. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you're watching this video on YouTube. And if you're not part of our newsletter, please subscribe. We have pie giveaways. We have Louis Vuitton giveaways. We give away so much value. Please, if you're not subscribed, send us a message and we'll make sure to send you the link or add you to our newsletter. Peace.